path to 75 on Final Fantasy XI has always been a huge part of the game. There's people that say that Final Fantasy XI doesn't start until you hit level 75. I would disagree with that. A big part of the game that we all remember is that grind from level 1 all the way up to level 75, the many adventures we have on the way. So today we're going to look at what that path to 75 looks like on Eden. First of all, though, I want to say thanks to everybody that has supported these videos. We've only done a few to start with, but the tells in game, the messages, the comments, all that is really appreciated. So keep up the support. Really appreciate that. Check us out on Twitch, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays nights from 9 p.m. onward. Make sure you click subscribe here. Head on over to Twitch, hit follow, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we go live. So let's get into it. The grind is 75. Of course, depending on what nation you start with, Pretty much 1 to 10 at the very least is going to be just starting outside your zone. Just mowing down decent challenge, easy praise, even up to even match if you want to push it. But that level grind 1 to 10, it can be kind of slow, but that's where you start with. Keep in mind this guide is going to kind of be a uh, geared towards everybody. So there's going to be people that are just starting out on this server. So if you've been a Final Fantasy XI veteran for a long time, you're going to hear some of these off the front end and be like, yep, I know those camps, know those camps, know those camps. This isn't for me. Stick around to the end. We're going to get to some Eden quirks on leveling. But let's give you a TLDR version of the camps on Eden that are most common, most popular, up to 75. Obviously, the first one that we all know and remember is Valkyrm Dunes. From about 10 to 20-ish, that's the big one. That's the one we all remember. has the most nostalgia. On Eden, it's a pretty lively zone, a lot of parties, not heavily camped, but you'll always find parties there. You should be able to get to 20, no problem. Qfum, from 20 to about 25, that's kind of the next hub of leveling. We all know and love that place too. Maybe you hate it. Either way, it gets you to 25-ish. From there, you have a couple options. The most common one I've seen on Eden, done a lot, is Bibiki Bay, off of uh, Dommels and Birds um, and Fs, Fs, weird word to say. Or you can do Yatunga Jungle and Yotor jungle off of Mandragoras. Both of those camps you can kind of intermix and that should take you to about 32. 32 is your first big stop on Eden. That's Sanctuary of Zeta. Camp is right by the outpost so if your nation gets the outpost grab it as soon as possible because this is going to be a very popular leveling spot from 32 onward. A lot of people once they get beyond the level of this camp they use level sync and they just repeat this camp over and over and the various camps prior like Qfum, Bibiki Bay, Sanctuary of Zeta up until about 55 ish. 55 is where you start your bird parties. I don't know why I put that in quotes. <laughs> but the first bird party camp typically by the lay point. Not familiar with that. Should be on your screen at the moment. This camp is very popular high XP per hour and should take you approximately to 60. A lot of people level sync here. Once you hit 55, it's a very popular camp. The next camp moves on to regular Calibri. And then from there, guess what? You go into greater Calibri. So think of it as mid 50s onward, lesser birds, 60s onwards, regular birds. Then it will have regular in the name, 70 plus greater birds. That should take you to 75. Thing to consider as you level up, you can always level sync down to previous camps. So if you have a person in your link shell that's 32, you can level sync down and party with them at that camp. As you level up, you just have more camps open up to you. Ideally, you want to stick to the higher camp so that you keep your skill levels up. There you go, your 75 video is done. Not quite. We've got some other quirks on Eden that I've never really saw on retail or anywhere else. First one being arrow burns. In Guskin Mines at level 15, basically you get a white mage to slow the worms down there. You get a bunch of rangers, sub rangers, thieves, samurais, anything with a bow and arrow, you're in. Once the worms are silenced, fire away. That's why it's called arrow burn. You're gonna see huge XP per hour at level 15. You're talking upwards of 30,000 experience points per hour. Level 15, that is ridiculous. You're going to be leveling so fast, it's just nuts. People will just stay down there for hours at a time, recycling new level 15 sinks over and over and over, gaining massive levels in short amount of times. Kind of broken, but it's a popular spot on Eden. Second one is Black Mage Burns. Honestly, I've never done a Black Mage Burn. I hit 
18, 19 on my Black Mage and never looked back. Once I got Warp, I was done with Black Mage. Actually, the second I hit, I think it was 18 Black Mage, I was getting tells for these parties. Um, I think they're in Carpenter's Landing or, or some other location. Black Mage Burn. If you have experience, comment below. Let us know your experience with Black Mage Burns. I don't know what kind of XP per hour they get. I don't even know the mechanics of it. I just know they happen, and they happen pretty regularly. The next one is Pet Burn Parties. This is an Ottawa Chasm from a Teleport Maya in Tarangi Canyon. You go through the Maze of Chakrami, and you get to Ottawa Chasm. From there, you just get to the first opening. There's a grouping of approximately seven worms in total, maybe eight. Uh, but basically, you have Summoners and Beastmasters. Use their pets against the worms. They just sit back, let the pets do the work. That's why it's called a pet burn. You're looking at 10 to 15k per hour. A very common spot from level 25 to 30. Now I've heard of people doing other kind of burn parties like pet burns or other things in later levels. Honestly, I don't have much experience with it. So if you have experience on Eden with these, again, comment below. Let us know your experience with various different burn parties on the server. One note about these burn parties that you talked about, the arrows, black mages, the pet burns, they're great. They're high XP per hour, but they've got some cons to them. The cons of those, you don't keep your skill levels up. You do arrow burns as a ranger from 15 to 75. Well, guess what? You're level 75 with the skill level of a level 15 ranger. So now you got to go do a lot of skilling up. Not hard to do, but very tedious. Plus, also, you didn't really learn how to play your job at higher levels. You don't know all how to use all your job abilities and all these weapon skills and how do I time everything out? How do I do this appropriately? So there's a little bit of a learning curve once you hit endgame, but you don't know because you've not done any content at high levels. The pros of that being, though, obviously high XP per hour, but you also get to skip some level ranges, so you get to level kind of on the cheap. You buy some level 15 gear, level up to 75, all those mid-levels, guess what? You don't have to buy gear for those, and you just have to gear up for your endgame character, skill up, learn how to play your job, and you're good to go. Some people opt not to use these parties, and that is their prerogative. Never look down on people that turn down those parties. Some people, that's all they do. They only level in those. I would caution you, if you've never played a job before, don't just burn it up to 75. Experience regular XP parties. Learn the ins and outs of your job. You're skilling up along the way. You're learning. Yeah, you can go back and use some of those burn parties just to get some quick levels if you want. Or if you feel like you got a handle on the job and you want to push it to 75, there you go. But that's only certain jobs that get to do that, though, so keep that in mind. Other than that, when it comes to leveling on Eden, there's always XP parties to be had. I would encourage people, don't try to find a meta and just stick with it. Be open to all kinds of parties. Look for those burn parties if they're there. Get into regular parties. Use quirky combinations. Use different camps besides the one I listed here. There's all kinds of places. The world's huge. Explore, find camps, use them. Use all the different jobs. Don't exclude any jobs just because this guy says it's not that great. Guess what? It might be better than you realize. So get out there, invite people to a party, get that experience points going, get to 75, have fun doing it, and enjoy the journey because it's great. Again, if you like these videos, click like, click subscribe, head on over to Twitch, click a follow and the notification bell there, and we'll see you there Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday nights. Thank you.